Brooks here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2020 Creator Expert Modular Building Set. And this is a 16 plus set. It is set number 10.0.2.7.0. It is called The Bookshop and it has about 2,500 pieces. So let's get into the box. Alright guys, and now we're onto the box. This is a massive box as the set is pretty big. And this is, so I guess up front, at the start you have the obvious Lego logo and then what theme it is, and this is a creator expert set, as it says in the corner. So it's advised for ages 16 and up, which I am not 16, and I'm not 99, so I'm fine with this one, but, and I don't usually listen to the um, kind of age limit rules, but it makes sense. As long as you're able to build it, I think you should be completely fine. But, uh, so yeah, back to the set, you have the set number, the name, which bookshop, and then it just goes up 2,500 pieces. And then it just shows basically what you're going to get in the set, the main kind of beauty of the set, the the uh, main part of it in its in its glory, you could say. Um, so you have all the minifigures lined up front on the sidewalk, the bookshop, the house next door, and everything kind of looks like they're kind of playing out a little scene. And then in the background you have the, looks like, other modular 1960s type style buildings in the back so and then you have kind of a park background too along with that and some trees so nice nice box art up front it gives you the dimensions right here the set and then if we flip this in the back you have just some of the play features and maybe little scenes that kind of they put that you could kind of do for example this uh bookseller reading in her chair and stuff like that so just a couple scenarios that are kind of fun to see on the back of the box and then you have kind of how it can attach to different sets and how all the floors work and how they can be removed and kind of the proportions of the floors and then you have the diner and the corner garage just for some advertising so that is the box okay so now we have our first minifig and this is just a kind of kid with a scarf and a hat bundled up for the winter. So he has a nice stocking cap here and a really nice scarf print, I or mold you could say. I really like that. Um, and then he has a jacket with a shirt under it. And if you look closely enough, I think you can see, I'm sure if I take off the... Uh, the uh, scarf too you can see it that's like the banana logo I think from that I think they've had previous like shirt designs for some Lego guys that have the banana so you have that and I kind of like his pattern for his jacket he looks super super realistic for a uh, kind of bundled up kids so that's nice um you got just standard kind of dark green pants and then yeah a nice smile and his other face is kind of a worried kind of yeah just worried anxious face so yeah overall that's a pretty good figure and on to the next all right now up next we have a nicer younger looking man who is looking pretty nice for the occasion and he has these kind of like straps kind of like overalls you could say with maybe looks to be like khaki pants on um just with that color and just a nice kind of um tie and stuff on his red shirt and he has some nice slick back hair maybe from a comb and the overall kind of pattern continues down on the back so he's a pretty nice figure to get i think if we uh from the box art you kind of tell that he's trying to kind of impress the librarian so that explains kind of his nice looks and then he has that kind of smirk um head and then his other Oh yeah, his other, he must be pretty happy. He must have just got that girl or something like that. And he is pretty happy. So, yep, that is the second figure. Next up, we have the bookshop seller, or the bookseller, you could say. And she seems like a really nice lady, or at least from the box, and just her smile. And she is the one up at the front desk, kind of. She's the one who works at Birch Books, as the bookshop is called. And she has just a nice kind of, standard purple you could say little like jacket or nice um thing to go over her, her shirt she has a little necklace right there some probably blue nice blue jeans just some 
standard prints and then you have kind of a little bit of a rim of the shirt up there. And then her hair piece is a really nice piece to get. Uh, very poofy. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a pretty cool part and she has this big smiling face so she's pretty happy. And then her other face, mm, her other face is like a sigh. So um, maybe Maybe she just got a new customer or she just read a great part in her book or something like that, but she, that's just a nice kind of sigh for a face. Okay, so now we got a older man, nice looking man who I think is the tenant of the Blue House along with his wife, which we'll see in a minute, but he has a just a um, nice kind of plaid uh, red, red jacket, you could say, or shirt, and Nice button up with a collar, so that's looking pretty nice. I like that print, and then just some gray legs, and basically just the same like pattern on the back with like the rim up top. And then he has some nice gray, like older, just standard type flatter hair up top, and then just yeah has this one smile. I think yeah he only has one face, but I'm completely fine with that. I'm surprised that we've gotten two faces with all the others, so. Yeah, that is the grandpa, or, well, not necessarily the grandpa, but the older man. For our last character, they gave us a wife for the older man, and she has a pretty nice print for the torso, and she has that kind of brown tan jacket that looks really nice, and a kind of light navy, well, not navy blue, just a light blue under her jacket, that is like a button-up shirt, and yeah, I really like that jacket print, and that looks pretty nice. Then you have some dark um, blue pants, just standard pants, and on the back, you just have kind of the continued design for the outer jacket, the brown jacket, and then she has some nice kind of curly, curly at the edge hair, looks pretty nice, and she has glasses and a Nice smile on her face, and she, okay, she does have, has t um, two faces. Her others is basically the same, just still smiling a little different, you could say. So, yes, those are all the characters for the build. Okay, so now we are on to the builds, and this is really nice because this is actually two base plates. It gives us two half green base plates, so actually they can split apart. So that's really nice. So we're actually going to be taking a look at the um, bookstore first, or the bookshop, and I'm going to do some exterior, just kind of show you the outside, and then I will take you guys on the inside. So starting off the outside, one of my favorite parts of the set, might even be my favorite part, is this tree. I mean, look at that tree. It's super nice. It's kind of like a cool Technic design that looks super good, um, and the leaves, I think that's the first time they had these new leaf colors, or the yellow leaves, and you have these smaller leaves that look nice on it, and some kind of olive green leaves, and they just used all these Technic stuff to make this birch color with some black and stuff like that, and then it also gives you this kind of bird's nest, and the nest itself, I think, is made from like a minifigure, like, for like top of the coat part so that's pretty cool so I really like that inclusion and then down for the sidewalk you have some leaves that have fallen down just some nice clip on leaves and then you have this kind of frontal design up front with this little gray and just kind of a classic modular building just gray um, sidewalk except I do love that they give you this design with the new triangle pieces and then, I don't know if you can see that well, but beyond you have kind of a bookshelf on the outside, maybe to return books or something like that. And yeah, so that's the outside, or the kind of bottom area. And then going up, we have two big windows. This one's kind of covered up by the book kind of cart or shelf. And then you have the super nice kind of pillars that go up and... This one rounds the arch of the door, so that's nice. And then this door opens and closes. Nice big glass windows where you can display books. And yeah, that's that's very nice. I like that feature. And then going up, you have the Birch Books sign. I'm gonna just take this out of the way for now on. 
so you can see a little farther and a little better. So you have the Birch Book Sip sign, and then there's also kind of this lantern right here with these super nice shiny gold pieces. And this basically whole kind of gray lining continues all the way on. I love that design, and I am a big fan of the color. Just this gray, or not gray, sorry, this brown color on the outside is such a beautiful color. I'm a really a big fan of that. And then you have some stained glass here. So now on to the second floor, you just kind of have these basic but great looking big kind of white windows. And I like the top parts. So that's pretty nice. And you just still have some of that gray kind of, I don't know, pillar type work that you have. Then up top, you have, this is like the fanciest floor definitely from the outside have kind of a design using that still gray color then you have this one window which is the top bedroom actually and you have the kind of a part of the roof you could say then going up the roof rounds off here and it kind of has this nice kind of like fencing along the top look so yeah so that's pretty nice up there and you got all this super nice work so the top floor it looks very nice so now we're gonna go and explore the inside of the build. All right, so we are onto the bookshop part of this build, which is actually the name of the set itself. So this is a pretty big part of the build and um, for most people, the highlight of this build. And so first kind of, I guess from the top looking, you see the staircase that will lead up to the second floor and you have a tiny little bookshelf that they give you right there, um, like a nice, there's a variety of different colors of books and textures, so that's pretty nice. And then you will see kind of a little overlook here, and that you can look further down. And it's kind of hard to get my hands down here, but then this super nice spiral staircase looks pretty great is right there. And I will take. And the good thing is you can take this off for easy um, accessibility. So you have this nice kind of fencing along, and then like this little bookshelf, little bookshelf. So that's pretty pretty nice part. And now you can see this bookshelf along the edge, and that's filled with a variety of different colors, kind of how much they pop out and stuff like that. So Lego does a very nice job of building this, the bookshelves. So that's super nice, I like that. Then you see you have the desk here, and actually I might be able to, yeah. Here's actually the desk itself. So there's kind of a nice unique design, and then you have the register a couple books and maybe a little mouse or something right there. I have no clue what that is. Um, and there's a little space for someone to go in the back. Um, hang on. There you go. Sorry. And then you have, like I said, the kind of staircase. And then over here, let's see if you can see, you have another bookshelf that is full. And this one's super tall, like... It leads all the way up to the kind of second half floor, or like the half floor that we have here, and that's nice. And the pattern for the kind of bottom floor is super nice on that, and it's a nice gold, shiny, and yellow color, and that's that's a very good feature. I like that. And then I guess back here um, you have, and there there's a door in the back that you can get to, so that's the first floor. Okay, so for the second floor, this is kind of the nice start to an apartment level um, as the like, stairs from the top of the bookshop lead right up to this entrance. So that's kind of a nice um, little entrance up there. I kind of wish they were able to include a door so you literally like are looking at your books and then you just walk upstairs and you are in someone's apartment. So I think that's a little odd, but this is a smaller space that they had to cram stuff in. So starting off, you see this same design of a nice spir spiral staircase that's looking pretty sharp and then you have this nice big kind of circle round rug that um i like the color contrast in that and then back over here up against the wall kind of see the windows and you have a grandfather clock that was a super cool thing to build and it was kind of cool how they kind of slipped it in between those windows so that was a good addition, and then you have a little side table with this lamp. Um, going over, those are nice two little builds, simple builds. And then you have this nice recliner that this thing can go up and back. So that's a really cool chair. 
And then on the back, you have this nice little railing on top, um, on the sides. And then you have, like, these fancy little kind of, I don't know, like, triangu uh, triangular points. And there's a little uh, table with two chairs and some coffee. And then this nice, uh, just clear screen door. So, yeah, that is the second floor. Okay, so now we're on to the final floor. And like I have said, I really love the design of this floor and from the outside, at least, that we've seen so far. And this floor is pretty different when it comes to taking it off. You cannot pull that up. And it wouldn't really make sense anyways because there's about, like, just like seven studs there. So it wouldn't really make sense to make a detachable roof and barely be... Um, even be able to fit your hands down in there. So instead, you pull this off. And that in reveals the bedroom, or just kind of the small space, the living quarters upstairs from that apartment. This is where the sp spiral staircase leads, right through there. And you have a pretty nice bed build um, that is just a nice big black bed that has these fancy kind of things at the head head headboard or whatever I think that's what you call it and then yeah just a nice color combo for the bedspread and then you have an iguana right here a little um kind of a habitat for the iguana I love this iguana piece um yeah so this iguana is a sweet um there it is yeah so that iguana is super nice to get in that set so yeah that is basically the final floor um Here's it on the inside, just simple, basic. But I did like how kind of it was different taking this off, and I kind of liked it that way. So, yep, this is the final four of the book shop or Birch, Birch Books. Okay, so we are now on to the, um, the house part of the build. And like I said earlier, I love how this can split apart. So you can maybe, if you're making like a modular building town, you can not have these right next to each other. So there's that cool feature in this house is kind of you have like a little basement area here and like this is considered the first floor I would consider it but it's kind of like a step up with these nice um, staircase leading up and then you have the top floor so from the outside you get a nice sidewalk um, just kind of more standard there they don't have a design in this one but um, I I think that's completely fine you've got a vents and this nice just um, regular type um, lantern street light you could say and then you have the stairs which i love this is one of my to me one of the, my favorite parts of this build and then you have some like um flowers and foliage up front in front of the house and then this nice big majestic window i think it's it's so cool and i love like that just that big window and the, the look of it that they made and if you if you do go downtown and maybe a city or something you will see older style buildings like that so that's a great feature you got these nice big lights um like lanterns right onto the side of the um door and then you got the house number then you have kind of the roof going up and this is like so i i feel like i've seen this house like so many times maybe down in the city or like in the older parts of town like this is just like a stereotype house and i love that that feel to it and then you got a chimney up here with some railing but yeah overall i i honestly might like this even better than the bookshop so let's get into the first floor okay so let's just say that when i meant the first floor i did mean this basement and yeah this basement would be a pretty cool build and i would think that would be pretty cool and it still is i would say that like all the the mouse trap in the extra ladder, the little door right here, you can put whatever you want down here in the stairs, if the floor wasn't green. I mean, come on, Lego. You can do a little better than that. Um, this is a pretty expensive set, as it is a big set, but it is a pretty expensive set, so I think a standard green grass floor doesn't really make any sense. So I'm getting, I'm dissing this little part of the build, but otherwise, I, um, I do like the basement. I love this ladder build that they gave you, and this folds out. Um, you actually see that up on the front box, so it's you it can it's highly kind of playable, or you could use it for so many different things, and that sticks right here. Um, so I like that, and then this mouse trap is such a cool idea, just to um, even add a mouse trap, and the build is pretty nice for that. You just kind of have the bait or the cheese right there, 
And then, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll move this a little bit, but you have just a kind of, just a plain old brown table with a bag on it, and there is also a, some like scissors or something made for gardening in the back, and then you just have the stairs that lead up to the main floor, or actually the first floor, you could say, and then this, there's a little door right here, so that you can take out your can kind of slide out your um, your ladder so that can slide out there like so and then also the kid comes with a little toy airplane that I can just they can just put on there too so yeah this is honestly not the highlight of the build definitely but um, I mean I'm glad they at least gave us a little interior spot for that but that is the kind of basement area now we are entering the first floor which might actually be my favorite floor of the whole build, like combining the bookstore and the house. So I love a lot of reasons the uh, this floor of the house. So first, I guess I'll start you off from this angle. You get this cabinet and shelves, and these can open up. I um, you have to get a good grip to be able to open those doors up. There, but there is like some stuff in there. You can probably see some different colors of stuff. And then there, it kind of looks like there's some drawers down there, like with those little studs sticking out. So that's nice, and then this fireplace build is so great. Like it looks so cool with the flames, and then like some some small um, smaller brown pieces for some like logs or something, and then the just kind of facade or like the design of it is super nice. And then you just get these two chairs and this little uh, round table for like probably where they eat, but also in the set where they're drinking some coffee or some tea. So that's nice, and then it comes with the Lego newspaper. And then here's kind of like a couch or a little seat right kind of overlooking out into the street with that big nice door I was talking about. And then over here you got the front door and there's a little rug right here. So that's nice. And you have a kind of like a rack to hang, I guess, an umbrella in this case. But umbrella, hats, coats, anything. And this door leads right down into the basement. So... Yeah, this build is super, or this floor is super nice. And I do also really love the staircase that leads up to the bedroom or the second floor. And then out the back, you just have this standard um, blue turquoise or teal type um, door. The only thing I don't like about this is this, like this side wall. I mean, in order to make the fireplace look that good, they had to do that. But I just think it looks very ugly from the outside. So this is that's another reason why I really like that you can take them apart, so maybe I have another modular villain or another build that could cover this up instead of, like, having it out because the bookshop would be on this side. So, like, so, yeah, this is maybe my favorite floor. So, yeah, this is the first floor of the house. Now we are going to be looking at the final floor of the build, and you'll notice when I pick this up in a minute that it does not kind of come apart or split apart for access, um, like, like, just all the other floors do so yeah like when I take this out the back side just kind of can come off like that so that's cool and I'll show you that in a minute but here is the inside and you have this nice dresser um, kind of like uh, shelving and drawers that you can put clothes or belongings in there and you have this nice um, like different shade of brown top with a set of flowers and a pretty nice lamp build and then you have a picture of a bridge, just a cool picture that they have. And then this bed, I mean, this bed is so cool and it's very detailed and it's massive. So like I was, I was pretty happy and impressed with that bed. Now, I thought the first bed was awesome, but then I saw this one. So then, and it could fit easily fit two people as it's probably supposed to be a king or a queen bed. Um, so yeah, that's a very cool feature and I love that bed. Um, and then, so on to this side. This basically goes right here in this section where there's this window it's supposed to represent kind of where people can come up for the um, for the stairs. And then on the outside, you kind of have this deck on the outside with some nice flowers on it and some fancy kind of railing. And then this window that can open up, same with this one. And then, yeah, just kind of the basic thing. So these are the insides, and yeah, we'll take a look at the back. Alright, so now we are going to be taking a look at the back. This will be pretty short because 
it's just a basic plain this color that they use for each side so for example the teal and then the brown and there's some nice classic like uh lego windows um on this side and you have the kind of um decks up top um and then you have just a blank um kind of open grassy area on this side you do get a little like kind of garden area where maybe the uh, lady could do some gardening and stuff like that and then they step up to the uh, door so yeah pretty pretty simple back but i still like it and i think it looks pretty nice okay so now the main question is the set worth it it's original price definitely i would say even 50 bucks more um it is definitely um worth its price it, I could say, I mean, it probably isn't the best modular we've had, but it is a pretty good one. And it was a great one for this crazy 2020 year. Um, so, yeah, I really like this set. hope you guys consider buying it. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Oh, and before we go, guys, I would like to mention that I am going to be starting to work on a Star Wars stop motion that I'm going to take my time on. I'm going to try to make it look pretty quality. So hopefully within a month or so, I will at least get um, a chunk of it finished that I can post. So yeah, without f further ado, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.